Well, last week I did some sketching and laying out of how this front driver's boot should operate. This week we're going to see if it'll actually work. Well, as I laid out last week, I have my four pieces from the bent fellow sections. I cut those up into quarters for my pieces. Now I have the outside curves fitted up to my irons. This is the bottom hinge. And then this top iron for the footboard I have fitted. And then what I did is I took and I matched all four of these up like so. So the outside curves are all really close to being similar. So what I need to do now is I'm going to take and just scribe from my outside curve and make these all about an inch and a half. I may end up at an inch and three eighths so that my five eighths inside panel boards will make our two inches complete. So I'm just going to come in roughly my inch and a half and by the time I finish sand and do all this fitting I'm going to end up with probably an inch and three eighths. But that'll give me a uniform inside curvature to make all these the same. So they aren't 100% yet, but clamped together. I got the outsides really close. I can kind of tune these up to make them pretty similar. You'll see here too that Garth Clark sent a set of Brad Point wood drill bits. Those will be real handy. Thanks, Garth. Well, this is going to be the toe board, and this is going to be the iron where the heel of the driver hooks onto. Now, this iron measures 41. I did make my toe board 42 to allow for this bevel, kind of tapered off. Kind of debating on these square corners. I may put a round over on those. I really don't like that sharp point. More I look at this. So I'll probably do that too. But I want to make sure this iron here lines up with the hinges that I have on the mainframe. Oh, I've got it kind of mocked up here. I think I'm close. I'm going to just pin this together.
Make sure this is going to line up. This is where each of the tow board irons are going to parallel up with. So these are going to correlate with the frames I've got that are going to go up. So I think we're going to be pretty close to there and probably go ahead and bolt these hinges onto this main frame. Should not be surprised that this is not square. That one's not too bad on the outside. The second one needs to be straightened out. No doubt it went through the effects of the wreck as well. I need to stand this up. This next one is just as bad the other direction. This one's not quite as bad, but it doesn't stand square either. So, I need to square these up first. Evidently, they're twisted down on this main plate. It looks like I'm hitting on my nut right here. I might have to maybe notch that. And that, about an inch and seven sixteenths. Might be a fuzz shy, but still not enough to clear that nut. So I'm gonna have to modify that just a little bit to get it to sit down right here on this iron close this gap well that's what i ended up doing so it'll sit down flush here i don't know if that's right or not but if i'm gonna put a 5 8 board inside here i'm gonna have to probably notch it as well so when i initially took this apart of the remnants that we had this carriage bolt was put in in reverse. The head was down here and the nut was up here. So if the head was down here, I wouldn't have had to maybe square that out, but I would have had to round that out. If I had put this carriage bolt head down here, I would have this round surface and I would have ended up just kind of rounding that out. 
but I didn't like the idea of the nut being on top. If this nut was up on top with the washer underneath it like it was when I took it apart, and the driver is stepping and sliding his feet across this board, this would give an opportunity for a foot to hang up or possibly cause a trip or a fall. And I just like the safety feature of having a round head on this whole tow board rather than the nut up here. That's why I put the carriage head against the wood like carriage heads are designed and the square nut up against the steel. So whether that makes this improper or not, having a square corner instead of a round corner, I don't know, but that's why I did what I did. So such as it is, that's what we're going to go with. And I'll go ahead and fit these other three rib cages in here, just like this first one. Just a string here. I'm going to try to hold this up a little bit. Somewhere about in there. Just a quick check. About 20 inches in there. Close. But what I need to do is I need to make the hook for the right side and I get it attached so I actually have something to fasten to. So maybe I'll make that hook next.
Now normally if a passenger or the driver is going to get up onto this driver's box and place his feet up here, he would probably go from the hub to the wagon tire to this step and then step directly to this tow board. Well, since I only have this tied up with string and not chains, I'm not too eager to put a whole lot of pressure on that. I just want to see if this is going to work. So I'm going to step from this third back seat here and just kind of get a feel how this placement of this tow board is going to be. That's about where the seat back would be. Uh, that wouldn't be bad for me and the length of my legs. This might be a little high. I, I could maybe let it down a little bit. It wouldn't be bad. It really wouldn't be bad. For myself, I wouldn't want it any higher. My legs are going up a little bit. I could stand if they were down another inch or so. I didn't bring my tape measure up, but I think I'm somewhere around that 20 inches. But it's not bad, it's doable. Not everybody back in that era would be 6'2 like I am. I think it's workable.